We've got a customer's key here that we believe is damaged due to it being washed in the washer. The customer explained that it had worked a couple of days afterwards uh, and it suddenly stopped working. I was working intermittently. Uh, usually when the keys fail, they fail completely and all at once. So we're just going to do some frequency tests and chip data tests to rule out if the keys actually falter. The first one I'm going to show is a frequency tester. We should be seeing it 434 megahertz, which is a UK megahertz, and IARC, it's a Mercedes. So you can see the lock button works and the unlock button works. We'll just use a secondary tester to make sure we're right. As you can see, it's reading 434 megahertz. Again, 434 megahertz. So as far as I'm concerned, there should be no reason why the central locking isn't working. Now let's check the data because the customer also explains not starting the engine through um, the I EIS module. So we'll just put the key in here and we click identify key. This is clearly telling us the key is reading fine, the data is there, and it's an original key. So as far as I'm concerned, this key is working fine. There should be no reason why it's not working. So, the, now we have no working key, the first method we're going to do is use the rig to treat it as in the car and to get the vehicle to give us the data for the password. So, we click on all keys lost and we click on fast. Okay, it says make sure the power supply is not plugged into the IS, it isn't, it's plugged into the box, which is the fast adapter, and we click OK. Now it's trying to connect the EIS to give us a password, which if this is working perfectly fine, it should give us perfectly. But it's not allowing us past stage one, it's not allowing it to talk, as you can see, can't read EIS check the OBD line to the car or the EIS adapter. Well, the EIS adapter's not in yet. It's not come to that stage. So it's telling me this isn't reading properly. So the power supply coming through, because we can check it, but it's not reading it. We'll just try it again with the IR in. And turn as if it's mimicking the key. Again, it's still coming up. So for some reason, this EIS is not letting us in to talk and get the passwords. We're now gonna try option two, which is where we take it out and talk directly to the circuit board itself. 80% of the time, the option we've just shown you about creating the rig would work. But if they've ever had any key troubles or EIS module updates, then you might have to take the module out and get the circuit board onto an adapter to read it this way. This is a completely safe way of doing EEPROM. So I'm just going to show you on a test one this morning to prove the equipment is so is working. So I've chosen the module and I click read. This is reading the data from the car. Get the power supply. So I'll click read again. So it's reading the data through. And this time successful identifying the chip, it's trying it now, it's read it all, successful completion, and now I've got my data, which means I can now produce a key, as you can see all the data is there. So that's what it, how it should work. Now, when I connect to the module, the EIS module, and do exactly the same procedure, oh, here's car. on your vehicle, using the adapter, again, very safe procedure, done this, 10, 15 times before, click read, connects the device, finds the initialization, tries to read the chip, and it says chip not connected. So that's telling me there's a fault with this EIS because it's not reading the chip. So the, now we have no working key. The first method we're gonna do is use the rig to treat it as in the car and to get the vehicle to give us the data for the password. So we click on all keys lost and we click on fast. Okay, it says make sure the power supply is not plugged into the IS. It isn't. It's plugged into the box, which is the fast adapter. And we click OK. Now it's trying to connect the EIS to give us a password. Which, if this is working perfectly fine, it should give us perfectly. But it's not allowing us past stage one. It's not allowing it to talk. As you can see, can't read EIS check the OBD line to the car or the EIS adapter. Well, the EIS adapter's not in yet. It's not come to that stage. So it's telling me this isn't reading properly. 
So the power supply coming through, because we can check it, but he's not reading it. We'll just try it again with the IR in. And turn as if it's mimicking the key. Again, it's still coming up. So for some reason, this EIS is not letting us in to talk and get the passwords. We're now gonna try option two, which is where we take it out and talk directly to the circuit board itself. Thank you.